This is the demo video for Calligraph, an iTex 7 add-on that enables you to use complex script features. Let me take you through the example code. In all of the examples, we will be doing the same thing. We will be adding a table to a document, and in this table we have two columns. The first column lists a language, and the second column lists a particular piece of text in that language. These resources are loaded from an XML document, piece.xml, and you can see here that it contains three entries, one for English, one for Arabic, and one for Hebrew. It features the name of the language, the direction in which it ought to be written, and a certain piece of text. Parsing of the XML is done in the XML parser class. Every time it encounters the message element, it will simply call say piece with the text language, the countries in which it is spoken, which will always be null, and the right to left boolean flag set or unset. In this first example, we do nothing in particular. We don't set a font. We do not load Calligraph. So this is just iText as is. So let's see what that outputs. Let's look at the document. As you can see, the document contains the text for English, but for Arabic it contains only the punctuation marks and those characters that are present in the Latin alphabet. This is to be expected, because we didn't set a default font, the font that is being used implicitly is Helvetica. Helvetica does not contain any glyphs for the Arabic or Hebrew characters. So every time one of those characters is encountered, it is simply ignored by iText because the corresponding glyph cannot be found in Helvetica. In the second example, which is very similar to the first, we try to solve this by setting a font that isn't Helvetica. In this case, we set Arial Unicode, which contains the glyphs for all of the characters used in the example. Let's see what that outputs. If we now look at the document, it contains not only the English, but Arabic and Hebrew text. Now, for those who are familiar with Arabic and Hebrew, you will notice that the Arabic text is not perfect yet. It's not in the correct direction, and the ligatures are not being rendered. Ligatures are a complex writing feature that influence the rendering of a glyph based on the vicinity of other characters. In this case, because we didn't load Calligraph, this feature is not enabled. And so, instead of doing that, it simply outputs the same glyph for every Unicode point that matches. In the third example, we will use Calligraph. I will uncomment my dependency in my POM file. and check whether my dependency was added and I see that typography was added. So now let's check the third example. The third example is an exact copy of the second example except for a few minor details. In order to ensure that a reader will maintain the right to left or left to right direction, I have set the base direction of the paragraph which will influence the selection, and I have set the text alignment. Let's check this third document. The third document looks a lot better. You can see that the direction left to right and right to left is maintained. The text alignment is done properly, the selection should be done properly as well, so for English it selects to the right and then continues from the left, and in Arabic 
it selects the other way around. It selects from right to left and then starts at the right again. And you can see that the ligatures are also being rendered now and the same for Hebrew. If you want to learn more about Calligraph, visit our website.